and we are very uh, sure about this that what Mr. Xi is proposing for more globalization, for more better business relationships between these countries will be achieved during the BRICS summit in September this year. I totally agree with uh, President Xi Jinping's idea and uh, BRICS is a very good platform to do that. Uh, India has been a very integral part of the BRICS movement and today we have come to a situation where uh, last year we held the BRICS uh, uh, annual meeting in India, in Goa and the business meeting was done by the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry in Delhi which was very successful. We are certain that this year we'll have a lot of good discussions during the BRICS summit and globalization and how to go forward and especially for the BRICS country, especially for the developing countries, especially for Asian countries, I think it is a very good platform. I mean, we've seen a massive shift in the weight of the world economy from the west to the east, from the north to the south, and I think it is important that all the different countries, and especially of course China, have not only a right to speak, but a duty to speak and to play their role in you know, improving the state of the world. Uh, so I think the important thing is working together, really finding solutions that really balance the uh, interests of various players, and then coming to solutions that ultimately really be really a win-win for all the various countries. China is already the number one trading partner to South Africa, number one trading partner to um, uh, Brazil, a leading to trading part partner of many, many other countries. The economic relationships will deepen. Uh, as you know, when the five heads of state come together in Xiamen uh, later this year under the leadership of President Xi, uh, they will talk about what more can be done to deepen economic trade and investment relations between uh, the BRICS uh, countries. Um, I see that trend continuing because China, the Chinese economy will continue to grow. Uh, there's still a lot of strong drivers to propel the Chinese economy forward in terms of uh, numbers of, of um, uh, urbanization, people moving to the cities, the need for airports, the need for, 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 for infrastructure, and also as the commodity uh, cycle turns, I think China will, will continue to play a significant role in contributing to global growth.